Good morning, and on behalf of Intel, uh, I'd like to welcome you to CES and welcome you to our press conference this morning, and thank you for all, for all attending. We've got a really exciting uh, story for you this morning, and I can't wait for you to, to, to hear it. Um, it's interesting, I wanted to reflect a bit on where we are. We're coming together this year at CES at a fantastic time for our company and for our industry. Intel is coming off of its best year ever, and so is the industry. More PCs were shipped than ever before. In fact, a million PC, over a million PCs a day were shipped this year. As we go into 2011, I think it's even more exciting. Things that I talked about at my keynote at CES last year in terms of future technologies are starting to ship and show up in volume in the marketplace. The integration of the microprocessor and the internet into a whole new series of devices that were unimagined a year ago or two years ago and into machines that existed but weren't smart or connected is changing them and changing the world. And the prospects for Intel and for the industry growth in this new connected smart environment are really unprecedented. So as we look at 2011 and 2012 and beyond and this whole new spectrum of computing being developed and delivered, we get very, very excited. At CES this year, you're going to see a lot from Intel. You'll see a lot, of, a lot about innovation around our architecture and a breadth of architecture and products existing at CES. What you're seeing us do is start, start to build ecosystems around new devices, around televisions, cars, tablets, netbooks, home, ener home energy management systems, digital signs, and so many more new categories. In the last couple of years, we worked very closely with Microsoft to bring about a new category of devices, the netbook. The netbook this year will ship well over, last year will ship well over 30 million units, and I think will ship substantially more than that in 2011. Over 100 new Atom-based netbooks and tablets will enter, are in design now, and will be shipping in the marketplace during the first half of this year. Of course, we continue to work very closely with other companies like Google, helping to create and, and catalyze the smart TV category, and working with them and other companies to bring out set-top boxes and, and integrated uh, Blu-ray players and so forth to bring the internet to the big screen in everyone's living room. We're also working closely with Google on the Chrome OS project, which is now shipping in beta, and you've seen some of the announcements around that. We've also begun to create new ecosystems with the automotive manufacturers, and it's, I think it's interesting to note that you've got two major auto CEOs, auto company CEOs, speaking at keynotes at CES. Uh, the, the integration of the internet-based uh, connectivity and, and intelligence into the car is critical to the cars of the future, to make them more safe and more interesting and more, and more uh, useful to us as users. I'm not talking about smartphones today, nor will Muli. Uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of very exciting announcements around smartphones and around our progress in Migo at the uh, Mobile World Congress meeting in Barcelona in about uh, 30, 40 days from now. And one of the things I also I'm not going to talk about is servers. This explosion of smart devices is creating unprecedented demand for Xeon-based servers. And in fact, our server business today is the largest, fastest growing big business at Intel today. What we're going to talk about today, though, is, is the PC market. The fact that how dynamic it is, how PCs are becoming more interesting, more innovative, more affordable, depending on the markets. I remember some 20 years ago when Andy Grove first talked about the PC as a great Darwinian device. The fact that it kept reinventing itself year after year, changing its usefulness, changing its form factor, changing its integration, changing its price points, to be able to become more interesting to more people around the world. And that's what today's announcement's about, the next evolution of the PC. Today we're announcing our second generation Intel Core microprocessor, the product that's been codenamed Sandy Bridge. This is the biggest launch of the year, but it's beyond that. 
I've been personally involved with every microprocessor launch at Intel since the 286. That's a long, it's before some of you were born. <laughs> and I have to say, this is, this is not only the best product we've ever built, but the most exciting product we've ever built for a variety of reasons that we'll, we'll spend the next hour talking about. One of the things that is very visible in this new product is that we've shifted to processor-based graphics. That is that we've integrated onto the microprocessor die for the first time ever in mainstream computing the, the graphics and media engines that, that, that are so important to modern computing. And the reason, the reason we call this processor-based graphics is that it takes advantage of a lot of the features of the microprocessor in terms of power management schemes and sharing the caches and so forth. But more importantly, perhaps most importantly, we take advantage of the world's most advanced leading edge silicon technology, 32 nanometers. And in fact, the graphics engine that's shipping on Sandy Bridge is in fact the world's first 32 nanometer based graphics and media engine in the industry. What does this give us? So what? Well, integrating this architecture gives us the ability to do things that discrete units can't do. I mentioned power management uh, at, the, at a very fine grain level a minute ago. But we can also do transcoding. Who cares about transcoding? That means simply that you can move video from one format to another in a very seamless, effortless fashion. We'll talk more about that. Sandy Bridge is our best ever engagement with Microsoft in terms of deep integration of the feature set between Sandy Bridge and Windows 7 and then the upcoming Windows 8 uh, technology in a couple of years. Today we're launching 20 new microprocessors over 500 new design wins, shipping, laptops, desktop models, and everything in between. And to give you a scale about how big the Sandy Bridge opportunity is for the industry, in 2011 alone, just the first year of shipments, Sandy Bridge will represent over one third of Intel's corporate revenues this year, and will generate over $125 billion of revenue for the PC industry. This is a huge, huge product. So what's, what's it all about? A lot of it is about the visual experience. In fact, the tagline for the product is visually, visibly smart. And I want to talk about just three of the features very briefly, then Muli will get into them in detail. First one is Intel Insider. You've seen some of the news on this. This is a very exciting feature. It's deep integration of security and content protection to allow the movie industry and online services to be able to securely deliver premium content, HD, 1080p format. And I want to thank uh, our partners uh, in this, the studio partners, particularly Warner Brothers and Fox, who are the first two partners to sign up for this product, and you'll hear more about that in a few minutes. The second feature is Quick Sync. Uh, this is the ability to be able to do the transcoding that I talked about, that, that very quick uh, capability to move video from one machine to another in a very quick, for, short amount of time. Give you an example, uh, with a Sandy Bridge laptop, you can now convert a four minute HD video from a laptop to a phone or an iPad in 16 seconds. Seamless integration. And the third major feature that is new for this technology is YDI 2.0. Uh, last year at this time we introduced YDI 1.0. This is the ability to stream content seamlessly from your laptop to uh, your big screen television in, in, in a high def format. Uh, what 2.0 brings to the technology is the ability to do uh, 1080p, but more importantly, it moves beyond the personal content and internet content that was capable before and now allows DVD, Blu-ray, and the Intel Insider uh, capabilities to all move seamlessly from the notebook to your big screen. The last thing I wanted to do before introducing our, our major speaker today was to thank all of our partners. Uh, the OEMs, logo, logos are up here behind us, um, the major ISVs, and of course the media companies that are helping make the Intel Insider technology come to life. There's a lot of work behind this announcement and I really want to thank uh, every, every one of our partners for that. And now to tell you about the details of the product and to show you, show you and let you experience the technology, I'd like to introduce Muli Eaton, who's Vice President and General Manager of the PC Client Group at Intel. Muli.